Recently, I found out from a few players that if you log out of your account on NinjaQE Archive, it won't let you log back in. So even if you get a new computer and you download NK Archive and you try to log in from there, it won't let you log in. So there is a workaround for this and it involves finding your login token. And I'm gonna show you how to do that. The first step, you know, before finding your login token though, is you need to download Flash 23. So let me do this. Just gonna drag that here. Okay, open this one. Uh, this one, extract all. Okay, open this. And then you wanna open the one with a logo now. You want to click never check for updates. As far as I know, Flash 23 works best for SAS4 and you don't want that to change. Okay, now you can down uh now you can delete the first folder. Okay, next you want to get Slimjet. There are other browsers that work for SAS4, but like this is the one I know of, so I'm just going to use this. Uh, version 64 works best for my computer, so I'm going to get that. Okay, now you have Slimjet. You can delete this. Gonna clear out these like bookmarks thing. Um, where is it? Okay. Okay. So log. Okay. Let me show you why you need your login token. So if you log in with just, you know, username and password, it's, I mean, you're logged in, but then once you open the SAS4 link, it's gonna say you're not logged in, you know, even though you are. So let me just do that real quick. Oops. Yeah, it says you're not logged in. So here, I'll show you how to get your login token now. You wanna like open up Chrome, go to ninjaq.com, and then you wanna log in from here. So the reason I'm using this like alt account or throwaway account is because once someone knows your login token, which, you know, all of you will soon know this login token for here, um, that's basically the key to the account. So you can log into this account without a password. So yeah, that's why I'm not using my main account for this. Um, so someone sent me a video on how to get your login token. Uh, let me just follow along here. Okay, click this, and then you click more tools. Uh, developer tools. Um, click this arrow. Application. Um, application. 
and then, oh yeah, cookies. Okay, click this, and then click uh, ninjaku.com. So right here, this is all of your stuff, right? So username is Mr. Pop-Tart. Um, the user ID is this. The login token is this right here. So all these numbers are good and all, but I need to show you how to use these numbers. So right here, this is a login token like template. So I'm just gonna copy paste that, put it here. And right here, the username. You wanna take your username um, and then you paste it in. So if your username has a space, for example, uh, actually wait, hang on. Um, so let's just say your username has a, a space, for example. Like say it looks like, I don't know, this, right? You can just copy paste it with, you know, the spaces and everything and put it like that. Um, you know, with spaces and everything, like that's fine. <laughs> okay, so that was the username. Next, you wanna get the token. Um, wait, do I have to expand this? Okay. Copy paste the token, and you put it right ah, here. Okay, that's the token part. And then next, you get your user ID, and you put it over here. So yeah, this was just the template, and then this is like an actual login token. So this is the login token for Mr. Pop-Tart. Copy paste that, and then you put it in SlimJet. So just a heads up, um, on your real accounts, you know, don't tell anyone your login token because again, that's just the key to your account. Anyone that knows your login token can get into your account and they don't need to know your password and they can stay in your account. Like even if you change your password, the login token doesn't change so they can just use the same login token and then they're logged in. So there, I'm logged in. And unlike logging in with username and password, once you open the SAS4 link, it'll actually work. Uh, whoa. So yeah, there, I'm logged in. Yep, there you go.